Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of my makeup challenges. Um, five days, five looks. And I'm gonna do this baby. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I see the prize at the end. Um, when did I suddenly go into a, a southern accent? Anyway, um, it's gonna be so much fun. So in today's um, video, since it's day number two, I'm also going to choose this Violet Voss um, palette. This one's called Essentials. And uh, this one's beautiful. It's got some just gorgeous colors inside. Here, I'll get a little closer to the screen so it'll focus. Hopefully that's focusing. Yeah, I I already see the colors that I want to use, like for sure. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna also do a full face of glam. Um, yeah, should be pretty fun. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. It's time to prep and prime our skin. So very important steps for our makeup. So when you prep, you know, it's always good to have a nice clean face, it's like a clean canvas to work with. And then um, I like to use my serums that go and moisturize my face really well. Hydrate it. It's so important for our skin to be hydrating, um, especially for people like me with dry skin. Then I like to use my moisturizer, which is really nice. It's from Tatcha. It's the dewy skin kind. <laughs> And last but not least, that brings us to primer. Oh my God, let's see. Um, I have been using some drugstore brand primers that I absolutely love. Okay, so the combination that I like to use, because I, I use two of them, is uh, to use this e.l.f. hydrating primer. It's great for people with dry skin or if you're looking for kind of like a dewy look. Um, and then there's this one that I found called uh, Tone Adjusting Face Primer um, and it says Neutralizing Green. So sometimes I like or sometimes I run a little on the pink and red side so I'd like to kind of like zap that. So I'm going to mix these two together. Maybe the green one doesn't want to go. Okay, I think the green one is all gone, so I'm gonna use the hydrating one. I uh, put three squirts of it on my hand. It's gonna go right down my face. That's just so nice. Okay, there is our primer all locked and ready to go. Lock loaded and ready to go, right? What is that the same? <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next step. Before we go on to our next step, I'm going to have a drink of this nice, cool, classic Coca Cola. I just love it, and I think you guys should too. I'm just kidding. Um, I just really like having Coca-Cola after like a meal and I just ate some delicious pulled pork that I made last night. I can't even believe I made pull pulled pork. First time ever and it was it was phenomenal. Um, but anyway, back to makeup. Um, so the next step is to apply the e.l.f. Liquid Glow, Hi what's it called? Oh, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, kind which I have and I just like I'm gonna use it when I use like a full face of short silvery okay so I'm gonna take the wand here and just uh, get it all over my face can't forget the chin okay so let me get a little closer to the camera um, so that's what it looks like when I <laughs> apply it. And then I like to take a beauty blender and uh, blend it all in, okay? Just watch this. Mm -hmm. Just hold my hand and we will be okay. 
Okay, we are nice and blended. Yes, I love this stuff. It looks so nice. I'm like getting this radiant glow from it. It's beautiful. Okay, next it's time for our foundation. And um, I'm excited about this because I get to use my new favorite foundation from Rare Beauty. This is the Weightless uh, Foundation. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. No, I don't eat it, but it's delicious in the way that it like applies to the skin. It's just gorgeous. You'll see. Okay, so what it does have is an applicator on the top, and um, so I'm gonna just go like this. And I'm done. D U N done. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take a brush, a um, Kabuki style brush right here. I got this yesterday. This is like from Morphe. This is number two on it. And I got it from Target. So Target has Morphe. Target has Morphe. Yes. All these are just dust now. I don't know about those things, but anyway, we're gonna blend this in. Okay, the foundation is nice and blended out. I love this Rare Beauty foundation. I mean, doesn't it look good on my skin? I don't even have to really blend with my neck because it's like the same color. It's so, so nice. So give it up for Selena Gomez. Yay, yay. I don't know if it works for everyone, but it should be nice. So next up, we need to do our concealer. And uh, to no surprise, I'm sure, uh, I'm using the Rare Beauty Brightening Concealer. This stuff, again, <laughs> It's a great color match, and uh, it really helps uh, with my under eye issues. Um, <laughs> like I have many. Uh, so anyway, what we're gonna do is apply it to the areas that we need, and then um, you can set it if you'd like. If you don't wanna set it, then go ahead. I haven't been setting my under eyes, so um, I think they look great without being set. So anyway, let's get started. Um, so I've got my little wand here. I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of the eye, the outer corner of the eye, just like so. Okay. So next steps are to blend it out. I'm gonna use a concealer brush. This is a Morphe. M173 brush, okay? Looks like this. This is like a really nice, dense um, brush. Br bristle. Bristles? Brust? Brush? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend it out. I like to take the concealer a little up in the tip of my eye, especially like my brown bone. Okay. Okay, the concealer is done, and I just wanted to mention one little trick that I like to do is after I'm done like blending them in uh, with my concealer brush, I like to take a beauty blender and just tap the product in. Just want to make sure that it's fully absorbed. So yeah, just like that. Okay, next steps. Next steps are to do the brows. They're not looking very snatched right now. So, um, for brows, I'll show you the pencil that I use, maybe. Here it is. <laughs> this is the Brow Harmony Gel and Pencil liner from Rare Beauty. It looks so well. The um, gel side is great. I mean, that's sometimes all you need. Um, but if you have like kind of weird, funky brows like myself, I have to draw some in and give them extra shape. So um, it all works out really well. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go out and do that. I'll be back when I'm done. Ciao. 
All right, guys, I'm back. Yes, and what? The brows are snatched, honey. Yes, they're snatched. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did my brows. They look okay. And um, I did my eye priming, all that good stuff. Um, since I was carving out my brows anyway, I was going to use the same product. Um, I like to use P. Louise Base. And um, I set it with air spun powder. You can believe that. The old, the oldie but a goodie thing. Um, and also I have a confession to make. Um, while I was doing everything, I decided to go ahead and set my under eyes with some translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. Uh, just because I, I noticed that the makeup was shifting and uh, it didn't look good. So I thought I better get some setting powder on this as soon as I can. So that's what I did. And uh, yeah, so I am all ready to go for the next stuff. The next stuff, oh yeah. Um, so typically what I do is move on to bronzer and blush. Okay, for bronzer today, I'm gonna be using the Laguna number two um, cream bronzer from NARS. I like this stuff a lot. Um, you know what, you don't need much at all. Like, at all, um, a little bit goes a long way. Especially if you get like a deeper color, like me, <laughs> by mistake. So what I'm gonna do is just tap into the uh, container there, and then I wanna take the excess off on my wrist. But that was like, a lot of excess. Yeah. I think now we're safe to go on the cheekbone. <laughs> Are we safe? Yeah, that looks good. Still a tad dark, but that's not bad. We can uh, blend that in. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, voila, voila. Yeah, it's pretty dark. So here is, oops. The forehead looks great. I love the way this smells. It smells so good. Like a tropical drink on tropical island. Alright, so let's get this, um, this right here. Not acceptable. Um, so I'm gonna grab my foundation brush. Actually, I'm gonna grab my uh, blending brush first and just try to blend this up. That already looks better. See, it's almost almost just good. Acceptable was the word I wanted to use. Okay. Just because I think it's still a little dark in a couple places, I'm going to take my foundation brush, which has foundation left in it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap over some of these areas. Just to, you know, lighten them up. Okay, okay, I think that looks good. Mirror to check. Mirror to check. Yeah, it looks okay. It's a little bit dark, but um, that's all right. I think. Um, grab another brush here. Where's my other brush? Check it. Uh, 
Okay. There we go. The bronzer is is fixed. It's light enough. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Um, but yeah. Sometimes they have little mishaps like that that we can't control, but um, we can fix them without having to start all over again. That's kind of a lesson that I've learned along the way. Okay, let's move into blush. Okay, guess what time it is? It's time for blush. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yay for gay! <laughs> I used to say that in my um, in college with my friends. Yay for gay! What do gay horses eat? Hey! <laughs> stupid, so stupid. Anyway, it was funny back then. Um. So next, I said it's time for blush. Now, based on the palette, which I haven't shown you guys yet, um, I have made some decisions. So you can just guess the color story of the palette by these two blushes. But I want to kind of like, I want to mix together, but I don't want them to be too heavy on the face. So, um, I don't want purple or pink. Uh, um, let's go with pink. Dang it, I want to use purple all the time. It's like my favorite, but um, it doesn't always call for purple. Okay, so now we've got our beautifully um, bronzed face. All right, I can say it and do the same thing at the same, and do all this at the same time. What I'm doing is I'm taking the applicator and just wiping off the foundation from the top. Um, that way, there's not too much on here. So now I just go down here and uh, make a little spot. Now, what I want to do is just blend it out. So I have a, oops, not that brush. Um, I have a regular blush brush, just a regular old, good old fashioned one. Someplace, 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 right here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna blend this out. Looks really pretty. You know, I like the pink, it goes with everything. It looks kind of natural, too. So that's how we get flushed. I kind of brush it up a little bit into the temple area. Not, not too much. And then I start to blend in circles. Just like so. Okay, there's that side. I'll go ahead and finish the other side and then I will be back. All right, and now it's time for the main event. Yes, it's time for eyeshadow. Our base is looking really nice. Now it's time to just top that off by putting that cherry on top of that sundae. Mm -hmm -hmm. Or maybe that's highlighter. Maybe that's lips. I don't know. Go with it with me, okay? Um, here it is. This is the Violet Voss Essentials um, palette, and it's just, it's got some beautiful colors, gotta say. Definitely attracts my eye down to the bottom row, uh, where I definitely plan on um, using those shades to create a look, a look, a look, okay? A look. <laughs> So, um, why don't we get started here? Follow along, please. Oh, you know what? I need to get all my brushes that were drying. One second. Okay, so I just um, went and grabbed all of my eyeshadow brushes that I will probably be using today. I know it seems like a lot, but really, it's it's not that complicated, and I will guide you through it. Okay. 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 
I can't do it. Where's Cardi B when I need her? Cardi B. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing if she freaking showed up and like let me do her makeup? Oh my god. I, that'd be a dream come true. She's fabulous. Uh, okay, so the first color that I'm going to be dipping into is this beautiful dusty rose color. And um, I'm going to be using that kind of all over the lid. Stuff. So um, for that, I'm going to take a... Um, excuse me. Morphe M332 brush. It's a nice big blending brush. I like it a lot. And uh, I do need my mirror, which is always behind me somehow. And I'm gonna dust this over everything. There we go, we are dusted. Um, now, we're gonna move into our transition shade, which is gonna go right in the crease, and it's gonna be a purple color. It's plum berry in this palette, it's beautiful. Um, so, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush for that. It's gonna be my E, it's gonna be my Morphe M506 brush. And um, I highly recommend getting one of these brushes. It's great for everything you need. For eyeshadow, you could use this probably for everything. <laughs> so uh, let's dip into Plum Berry. So pretty. I'm gonna go right in the crease. Voila! Should we even do anything else? Because it already looks like we have a cut crease. Yeah, pink. So we're going to get into our cut crease and for that I'm going to grab a concealer. It really doesn't matter which concealer that you use. Probably one that's in your shade. Um, so now I'm going to grab a uh, Morphe M167 brush to do the um, cut crease. This is the perfect brush. This is not the brush that I expected to use when I was first starting to do cut creases, but it works extremely well. So I'm going to get close, just follow along with me. We're going to stamp the circular motion up and over, you know, by the crease. Just like this. And then when you, when you have a little gap, fill it in. I like to do about three quarters of the way on the lid. And then, take a little bit more concealer. If you have some on your brush still, then just use that. You want to sweep to towards the outside corner, like away from the inner corner. Wow, I semi-perfect. <laughs> I'll just say semi-perfect. Now we need to set um, the crease. Let's get a brush and some setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Talc Free Ultra Blur um, Transition Petting, petting Powder. Petting Powder. <laughs> and uh, then I like to take this brush right here. This is a Morphe M441 brush. And I, I like to just basically brush it all, uh, all across. Okay. So I've got my little brush here, I've got my setting powder, i got it set, and um, now what I'm going to do is go back into that purple, yeah, dip back into Plumberry, 
and kind of get right here on the corner of the cut crease. It's not really working. So what I'm gonna do is take another Morphe M167 brush. This one's clean. And uh, go in like this. You use Dusty Rose. That might work. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Dusty Rose looks pretty good on the head. It's even slightly reflective. Okay, what I want to do is take that pink though and dip my finger into it. Maybe that'll work. And then I want to just go through the center of the lid. Yeah, that worked. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we need to finish the lower lid. And um, for that, I'm just gonna go back into the purple. I'm gonna grab my Morphe E36 brush. Okay, the purple looks good. Yeah, okay, I think this eye is complete. Sort of, I mean, besides it doesn't have mascara or lashes on him. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. And there's only like three colors on it. So, you know, that's always exciting. I always like when there's like fewer colors. But anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, I need to recreate this eye over here. And um, yeah, hopefully I remember everything that I did because sometimes it gets a little confusing. Um, anyway though, I will be right back. You guys won't even know I was gone very long. Well, hello! <laughs> Everyone, um, hi. Uh, so I finished this eye, mirrored it to this one, and now I'm ready for more. Give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more, throw it at me. Um, no, it's time for some mascara. I love this fantasize by one size. Oh, it's just juicy. And um, then after that, I need to put on some lashes because you know we can't go out without lashes. Obviously, lashes like can like totally change the look, usually for the better. But uh, we'll see with my lashes because I, I do have a history of battling. Anyway, um, I'll be back here just shortly. All right, everyone, I'm back and everything is done that I said I was going to do. Um, so the lashes are on, they look really cute. They're really big, <laughs> a lot bigger than I wanted to find, but like these were the ones that I had on hand that I could use. So there's that. Um, next, we need to finish the full look, we need to do some highlighting and some lips. So why don't we get right into highlighting? Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty Mesmerize Liquid Highlighter. This stuff is the shit, let me tell you. It's so good, I'll just show you briefly here. So I take my wand, there's a couple, three, dots down there and then um, I'm going to use my finger to blend it in. Now this will just glide over the foundation. It's not going to like mix with it which is really nice. I don't want to like disrupt my foundation, right? So uh, yeah, that's this is what that's what this does. It just glides right over and then you're left with perfection. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I will be back. Okay, highlighter is done. Oh my god. 
I love this stuff. It is just gorgeous. You can see it here. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Okay, next we're gonna go on to lips, and this is gonna be the last thing. So, um, you know, I, I generally like to pull out a neutral nude or something like that for a look like this, but because this has purple in it, I'm like, ooh, I've got a couple purple lipsticks. That might work. So, first one I have is this bold, purple, shimmery shade. And it could be really bright on the face and look really cool, or it might look terrible. <laughs> um, second choice is this just lavender, kind of a lavender neutral. And uh, it's really pretty, it's soft, it's, it's yeah, it's gorgeous. So uh, what are we thinking? I'm thinking the bold one, just because it's not something I would normally do. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a choice. <laughs> Okay, there it is on, wow, that is bright, that's really cool. Okay, what if we put the other one like on just to kind of tone it down a bit? Would that even work? Nah, let's keep it, let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. K I S. Oops, my battery just died, and uh, but it didn't cut off anything important, so that's good. Yes. So all I really wanted to say was thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. This is day two, look number two. So uh, man, I'm, this is gonna get harder as the day goes on, won't it? Um, anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it, and then you'll get notified of new content when it's available. Alright, so that's all I can say. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone, boom, 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 stay beautiful.